I got brought in the beginning of the season, the gaffer brought us in. Um, obviously he was looking at last year, he wanted the team to be fitter, obviously stronger and more robust. Obviously my main aim, obviously his s and is obviously to improve performance, but I'm massive on availability, making sure that everyone's available. And basically give the gaffer a bit of a headache that he's constantly got a full squad available and I think obviously this year, most of the time, or basically all of the time that, that's happened. But we've got like three working models, so obviously we've got a two game week model which is a Tuesday and a, and a Saturday and obviously we've got a one game model which is a Saturday. But then we've got the third model which is very rare which is the Saturday and Monday where obviously we play three, uh, two games in 72 hours which is ridiculously tough. So it all depends if obviously we've got a Tuesday, Saturday, I come in on a Monday, do a little bit of match day, uh, plus two recovery, match day minus one, get them ready out on the grass and then on a Thursday we've just been focusing on obviously lots of robustness, lots of isometric work and power work because we're match day minus two, getting them ready for Saturday. Obviously if I've got the luxury of only having one game a week, I actually take advantage of it and get a little bit of load through them. So we do an extensive day out on the grass and I do a lot of where some load in the gym. I've just got to be careful because Tuesdays are very, very rare this season. We've had probably around about six or seven weeks of only having the Tuesday available, so it's been, it's been tough to be fair. It's massive obviously having Harrison and Ben obviously looking at the stats along with Pav. Um, I think that's a big thing at all because I've left Harrison in charge of obviously looking at the GPS data, which is absolutely massive. Uh, looking at training load, looking at how many hour, uh, how many minutes people have played, obviously either at risk of injury, hitting the numbers that we want them to hit. And obviously we're looking at their match stats and then dictating the training of who needs what. Obviously this is my first year kind of in this environment, so um, I've obviously wanted to do more, but you've got to be realistic and think, keep them on the pitches, that, that's all that matters really. The gaffers give us a little bit of um, freedom to incorporate the balls within the warm-ups and obviously doing a lot more passing activation drills so I've learned a lot since I've been here and that's obviously why my knowledge around obviously getting the players ready because that's a big part of my job is basically physical preparation so yeah I enjoyed it. Hi my name's Harrison Job I'm an intern at South Shields. My role at South Shields is uh, quite broad. I do a lot of strength and conditioning work with Lee Moore. Um, I work in the analysis department with Ben as well as some scouting roles. I'll be in at training every day, um, a lot of the time looking after the GPS. That's probably my main responsibility here, um, whether that's them wearing it and looking at the data that we get back, tracking it live at training, um, just to monitor how much load and performance data that we get. Um, I'll also be filming the games. Um, that's alongside Pavel, the other intern, we'll, do, we'll take that sort of as a 50-50 split. Um, and yeah, just generally helping out with training, setting up the warm-ups and running that sometimes as well. Quite broad and within the gym as well, actually, quite broad role. Yeah, so I came to find this, it was advertised and one of my friends pointed it out to me actually. I, I, didn't, I hadn't even seen it. Um, it was, um, I was looking for a placement um, and this was one of the options that came up and I sent an email to Joe and he said, um, it was quite it all moved quite fast actually after I emailed him, um, with it being only a few weeks out from pre-season. So when I sent that first email, I was uh, in Loughborough back at university doing my second year, which I'm going back to there next year. Um, so I've just got a year here at South Shields as an intern. I feel like I've learned a lot, um, gained a lot of skills, um, but also just found a different working environment, um, which I'd never worked in professional football before this year. So it's been really nice and like a development for me. I feel like it's been a really nice environment for my first job in football. Yeah, I feel like everyone's really come together this year and it's like everyone has a role and their own different things that they do, but also will help out in different areas. So sometimes, like the other week, I got asked to buy pens. So there's, there's anything that you might get given to do um, here and it's just all about coming together for that one, like building towards the same goal, really. But I've been in and around football, I've played a bit, but I've never been in a professional environment. so seeing that step up and how it sort of interacts with everyone and especially with the manager like being so experienced himself in all walks of football and you, you know you pick up stories along the way which have been great but it's just seeing that different sort of life I guess that lifestyle and, and how the team operates and things like that. The club's been brilliant um, I've got to say like everyone across the board has just been really friendly and nice like whenever I've needed things there's people that you can go to and whatever like that um, but also just I think the group this year of players and staff has been really together um, especially obviously we're looking to get promoted that's the aim but it's 
um, everyone's sort of come together and it's been a really nice environment to work in and be in basically.